Hey guys, so we're going to be doing a pick a card reading on who has a crush on you and what is their intention. So we have the Love Angel Oracle deck for Pile 1 and for Pile 2 is the Star Seed Oracle deck. And for 1 is Ruby and for 2 it's the Clear Quartz. So I'm also going to be doing a tail reading and there's going to be charms from any of your zodiac signs and really the initials. But I do ask for love, light, and harmony, divine protection, spiritual protection, truth, guidance, lodging an eagle step to my left and only my left. Clear mind, clear energy, clear choice of judgment, clear communication. Also clearing the air, only positive energy. If you like negative energy, send it back to the sender 10 times full. If you feel there's any sort of ill intentions, malicious energy, praying for someone's downfall, or any case and scenario, very all kinds of harm, send it back to the sender 10,000 times full. But do all the archangel guides, ancestors, masters, from pile one from and also pile two speak your truth through me and i'll hear the answers that'll be what you said so we will start with pile one making the effort Making the effort to come forward. I feel like someone might ask you guys on a like a romantic evening or during the daytime and all that stuff. And you'll probably see like a lot of like watery areas. Now it could be outside on a river bank or like a lake, but I'm getting like a lot of outdoor vibes towards you. In a sense of them wanting to make that sort of efforts to come forward. They also could be taking you a little bit of a boat ride too. If they were to, if they had their own yacht or boat. Like really have that one on one time. Really I like that one on one time where it's like so romantic. So peaceful. Like very calming. But they're also saying, let your friends help you. Let them help you to discover new depths that are within yourself. Also, if you have any like questions, they'll give you advice on what they know. And they will really try to help you out as much as they can. But love yourself first and have that self-respect within your own self. Self-love and self-respect will allow you to attract more love romantically. A lot of attractions is being held here. Now you could be trying to heal from any childhood wounds or they could also be trying to heal from any childhood wounds and they could really be like letting go. Always apologizing for if they feel like they made a mistake and such. But really though, they want you to stay optimistic about your love life. They want you to stay optimistic whether you feel like something has been not headed your way. To be optimistic that love is going to come your way. Always keep that positive mindset. Always keep that positive thinking. For love has always been your way. But pay attention to red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Now guys, don't be blindsided by love here. Always pay attention to anything that you feel is like out of place, like you don't feel right with them. Always tell them the truth. Be honest and be clear about what you want though. Because you both have romantic feelings though. You both have those types of feelings though. Where you are ready to explore it. 
yeah, a lot of chemistry here. Wanting to explore and wanting to figure things out along the way with you. A lot of flirting here though. Light-hearted flirting though, just getting to know you slowly. A lot, but really allowing yourself to feel that sort of love here though. Now you could be really needing to let go of any control issues, like allowing this person to take the wheel. Or you really need to allow everything to just naturally unfold itself, like just go with the flow. Because you feel like some of them are not having to tell you this truth. There's a lot of deception here though. But also, you could be having like to take time for yourself, separation, to take things apart. But this could be like past energies, having a brand new beginning to a brand new start. Like really though, a lot of brand new beginnings are happening for you, which will allow you to have this like brand new start. But love yourself first, and this person really is going to make the effort in coming in towards you. But pay attention to red flags and also if you feel like you're not really speaking the truth, you can always just go up front and ask them. Because they really do admire you. They really have respect for you. They really do adore you in a way, though. Pile one, so. Now let me get your five card tarot. But I want you to, like, really love yourself and allow your friends to help you. For they will always give you and have that best interest within yourself. Speak the truth and only the truth. Who has a crush on them and what is their intentions? Who has a crush on them and what is their intention? Who has a crush on them and what is their intention? relationships in the past where it was impossible for them to open up and to explore every part of them and now this could be you as well but i'm getting like it's been very hard to try to open up towards people because you feel like you don't really know them for who they are you don't really trust them there's a lot of secrets here about someone really walking away and that's why they had to take a step back long ago to take a breather and feel like they're very restricted to where they are. And sometimes they feel like they really couldn't see anything past beyond it though. But now they really are ready to open up their feelings, to tell you that this could be a secret admirer as well or someone from the past. But they really are wanting to tell you that they love you. That they really miss you. And they want to come celebrate though. That they really are practicing what they should say towards you. For they feel like you have a strong emotional bond that is so powerful that nothing can break it. But I am seeing here that they really want to explore everything towards you. They see you as this beautiful and amazing person that they want to have in their life. That you could really show them new depths within themselves. A lot of cozying up with each other, a lot of cuddling though. But in a sense though, I do feel like things will be revealed in due time. Now, they want to take it slow with you. So try to like go at their pace or go at your own pace. But really try to compromise it in a way though. 
I'm also going to get your zodiac signs and initials. Cancerian, Libra, Pisces, Gemini, Taurus, Libra, and also Scorpio. Initials are O, Z, F, E, L, K, W, I, T, D. I give me something to do with like tying the knot, but I feel like they also like are trying to lit the sparks, like really lit the flames though. Something passionate here though. Ooh. I also got DF. So this is Divine Feminine here. But they did what they did though. And some of them could really be at their wit's end. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ken. Kenneth. Eric, Fiona, Lenny, Laura, Lana, Leanne, Tony, Terry, Thomas, Tom, Irene, Ivan, Warren and Kenny. Also, Owen, Ollie, like Oliver, their nickname, and Olivia. So that's what I have for pile one. So now we go on to pile two. called here or someone's being very called to top to come and take the next steps to take action towards you or you could be wanting to take actions towards them but you're very protected and they could be having a loyal heart with a lot of trust and a lot of safety though being safe within one's connection and in one's truth. But they really aren't saying that there is a lot of bigger pictures than what you... There's something being hidden from you. And they really want to say that, look at the, big, the bigger picture of things, though. You are very unique. Let yourself be known and seen. The Courageous Peony. And really, you can have boundaries with yourself, but let go of any boundaries. Just go with the flow. It's not yours to carry. Go with the flow of the waters and waves. The universe is deep within your soul. And they want you to know that they have your back. Oh, you could be a light worker and a star seed, though. Baby steps. A new earth. And something being cracked open. So let me get messages, though. You're being called forth to step into a new light. To 
really let go of something, like let go of your old self and to become the brand new beginning. I feel like you have really dealt with a lot in the past though. Pile twos. And now everything is happening for you because you are protected. You have been so loyal towards people. They want you to feel safe and secure. And they want you to trust in the new beginnings that are happening for you. But there is a bigger picture through all of this though. And that bigger picture will lead you to a wonderful and new beginning to a new start. A lot of praises, a lot of abundances. But I feel like actions are being taken in towards you. Someone could be really wanting to take in those actions. But I feel like you really are unique. Like, they see you for who you truly are. You're so outstanding. You're like, they see you in the crowd. They don't see anyone else but you. But they really are wanting to let, allow you to let go of anything that doesn't serve you. You don't have to carry the weight off the shoulders. You can be free. Free yourself from it. For you are a light worker. You are a star seed. You are an earth angel. The universe really has your back. You have a whole beautiful galaxy that is within you. And they always want you to see that everything that is within you is now coming into light. It's now being more open, being more flourish. You're flourishing and you're manifesting beautifully. But they want you to believe that everything that is happening, it's coming at a very slow pace. But someone new, someone like brand new, will help guide you along your path and journey. Your soul family is here. And this will lead you to a lot of new beginnings, to open up yourself, to feel more free and open, like you're very outgoing. You're the center of attention. You have the spotlight being shown upon you. Allow the spotlight to become one with you. Now I'm going to your five card tarot reading, and then we're also going to your charms as well. Let me shuffle this up. on them and their intentions. Five cards, please. Five cards, please. is being presented here. You also got the King of Pentacles. Knight of Wands, the Hermit, Strength, Knight of Pentacles, and the Sun. So you're taking time for yourself. You really are taking a step back because you feel like you're dealt with a lot. And I feel like someone is coming in strong, wanting to offer you a brand new beginning and really ready to have this like passionate new beginning with you but they really are in hermit's mode or you could be in hermit mode as well but they really are trying to gain momentum and gain a lot of like courage in order to come forth towards you because in a sense though they want to offer you something stable they want to offer you something like brand new Something that you would never have felt or even dealt before. And that's why the sun is trying to bring in clarity towards you. To show you that there is more out there in the world than what meets the eye. 
Oh, I'm sorry, I got the edition. The eye bra. <laughs> But they really want to bring clarity towards you. That clarity will help bring you something stable. Something that will really be there in the long run and will not be cut short, but will really be there in the long run. Now let's go on to your sun cards and also your wishes as well. Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, another Gemini, I'm also giving you Aries and Aquariuses. So the initials I have are D, Y, R, Dry, W, R, L, X, J, K, A, F, and X. This could be also in the daytime as well. DJ. Can we? Rose. Ryan. Winter time. <laughs> Aaron. Alex, Andrew, Frank, Francis, Lina, Lilith, Lily, Xavier, Jared, Derek, I'm getting also Miles. Something to do with the color red. Dark blue. Jaded colors, but also jade. Like the moon jade, or like, you know, the crystal jade as well. So let me pick up anything that they need to say. Anything else they need to say, any reviews. So for pile one. I'm getting like you guys will have the night of your life. Really trying to like help you to be more yourself, like really light hearted. They're not trying to put any pressure on you. This is going to be also a lot of light flirtation as well. So they want you to have the time of your life, like live in the moments, like to be more free and open. But I'm getting your friends will help give you a little push as well. Or their friends as well. Because someone really has a crush on you. Very strong, lively crush here. Pile twos. Don't be afraid to open yourself up. Everything will come in towards you. And you'll be more okay. Learn to love yourself. And always be humble. But I am seeing that someone really is going to take the actions to come forward towards you in a way that. Because they've seen your loyalty. They've seen how you've always been loyal towards this person. How you've always been honest. You've always been there. You've been supportive. But now they see it. And now they really are coming in. They're trying to reach their hands towards you. And trying to like give you their hand of support. But that's all I feel though. And that's all I have. Because they both have loving energies. But this for now for part one. You guys are gonna be outside.
a lot. You're gonna be outdoorsy a lot. Pile two, so. You're gonna spend a lot of night time. But I'm getting like a lot of indoors as well. So someone could be cooking for you. It's gonna be like an indoor cooking. <laughs> but very comfortable. Trying to be very comfortable though. Be more comfortable with each other. Be more open with each other. That's all I have though. So like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys have a lovely day. And know that no matter what happens, you are beautiful, amazing, awesome, queens and kings of your own journey. Bye!